as you've heard, welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. In the last episode, we completed Oranos Island 100%. We mapped everything out just as we were supposed to, and that was the final map, of course. So if you can see here, we have everything 100%. Feels good to see that, for sure. So with that done, that means that we have one big focus left in the game that I really wanted to do, and that'll be fast traveling over to the fishing areas. I think I might want to go to the first island. I don't know if each island has its own set of fish or not, so I figure we'll go all the way back to the original island, which was Kronos Island, and get that one done there. We'll start fishing around. We'll see what we can find. We've done a little bit of fishing throughout the series, but not a ton of it. So that's what we're going to be focusing on mostly for today's episode is just going around and fishing, having a good time with that. So first things first is actually finding the fishing station, the fishing spot, which is over here. So now I can quick travel to it with this. So let's go over to it and hope for the best. Yeah, fishing is a ton of fun in this game. It's very relaxing. It's very simple. As you can see within this one, we have 944 coins. Number of casts so far is four and are 12% through the catch completion. So it might just be a long episode of us just sort of chilling back and enjoying some hey, fishing, starting Sonic. with the Western fishing spot. Welcome back. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. I'd love to. So fishing here only cost one coin, so it's, it's really not that bad. We have 944 tries to find more fish, so we'll go for it. And obviously, if we can buy some of the Eggman memos along the way, those are pretty important for, you know, just sort of figuring out more of the story. So hopefully that'll be what happens here. We fish, we complete the Fishopedia, and we get the Eggman um, memos. And look at this. Looks like we're catching something new. We got a poison dart frog, and we got one token for it. So not really too much. Maybe because we've already caught this one? I feel like maybe we could have. So maybe there is like a shared Fishopedia. I'm not really quite sure, but that's what we're just gonna get to, is just spending some time fishing in today's episode and see what we end up getting. Oh, this is a sparkly one. It could be something real good. Whoa, okay, we got a little scroll. It's an Elder Coco scroll. We got eight tokens for it, but more than that, what does this do? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out eventually, but right now I'll cast a line over this way and just catch more fish. It's gonna be a really simple episode of just doing stuff like this. What do we get this time? This one's not all sparkly, so it could be something normal. Oh, it's a little goldfish, right? Yep, a goldfish. Seems like we're getting a lot less tokens around here than we did previous area, or the future areas, technically. And I think that might be by design, that we just get more tokens for fish we catch in later areas. Good to keep in mind, right now we'll reel this one in, Let's see what we got. Ooh, that looks new. A flying fish. Yeah, I think they jump out of the water and can go really far. Get another token for that one. Okay, let's try this over here. I don't mind really how many tokens we get. It's more just about completing the uh, the Fishopedia as soon as we can. So we got this one. Whoa, that's a little tadpole. There you go. And one more token for it. Okay, back over this way then. That is definitely a new one for the Fishopedia, but this it doesn't tell you on anywhere on the screen that it's a new fish, I don't think. Oh, it's another sparkly one. I got it. Whoa, it's a big treasure chest. All right, we get ourselves a gold card. So we can spend some of this stuff soon for sure, but I want to spend at least a good few minutes catching or fishing, catching fish. There you go. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun mini game. I feel like sometimes these kind of games have these, but they're not the most enjoyable. This one sort of bridges between simple but engaging, and we get a crayfish. Well, that thing's almost as big as Sonic is. And it's fun that there's, you know, something to collect through it all, and we're getting an, an easy and alternative way to earn up some different objects if we needed them, you know, like tokens or other things like that. For right now, we're just gonna reel this in, and hopefully get another new fish. Yeah, I think they did a good job with this. What? We got a chopper! All right. Wasn't expecting that. It's one of Eggman's creations. That is so weird. And also, this is just like a fun way to hang out with another Sonic character. We're here with Big. Big loves the fish. All right, what do we get this time? Anything? Any biters? There we go. Let's hook this one in. We'll be a big robotic fish again. No, it'll be a normal fish. A black bass. So. Oh, that was a couple of them, too. That's nice. Let's see what we get out of this one. Gonna get something we can reel in. Looks like it could be a big fish. Come on, Sonic, you got it. It's a ring. All right. Does that count as a Fishopedia entry? We've got three tokens for it, so I guess so. 
All right, well, at the least, you know, we're, we're clear in the lake at the river, of, and the rivers of uh, litter. And that's always important. I love the music here too. Just everything about this whole vibe is fun. Let's try this one. This one's an easier catch for sure. Whoa, it's a stingray, a red stingray. I love the detailed work on all these fish models too. Okay, let's go for one more before we take a quick look at the uh, Fishipedia and sort of see where our progress is. Okay, reeling this one in. Oh, it's a sparkly. It's a good, good one to finish on for right now. It's another scroll. So this one is a the Hermit's Cocoa Scroll and eight more tokens. So the 40 tokens in total, we got a gold card, we got some Cocoa Scrolls. Let me back it up for a second. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. So what I wanna do here is go to the Fishopedia and you can see we, we got a couple of fish caught, right? So if I go here, we got like Garami, Madaka. They do all have their own descriptions. I don't know if you guys want me to read through these. You can always let me know if you wanna see that. It is all alphabetized, sort of, maybe? Actually, maybe it's not hard to tell. Like some things look together, but then it goes to back to H here. If you bring back the scroll to the island, fast travel to Hermit Coke will be unlocked. So that's what these do, they unlock fast travel, which is pretty useful. Um, for when you're actually in the game, but like since we've completed everything, it's not the most useful thing. Anyways, um, the trial for a mechanical creature that looks like a fish, it can't, can't be eaten, so don't even try. And then there's the voice lines, which we'll be unlocking as many of those as we can later on. But for now, back to fishing, I guess. Because what I'm guessing is that with each fishing spot, there's a different collection of fish that can be caught. And my hope is that it won't be like too many repeats before we get stuff. I mean, we're still finding a lot of new things so far, like a red can, which will give us six tokens. Clearing out more litter. Let's go for another. But yeah, I guess each area, I almost dropped my controller. <laughs> that was close. Uh, each area might um just have like a different set of fish available. We got the platinum goldfish. Pretty cool. I think that is one we've caught before, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure there's some overlapping between the, the rosters of fish you can find. Because if not, why would there even be multiple areas to do it in, you know? Whoa, it's a spring! You caught a red spring. Six tokens for that one, too. So we're finding some pretty neat stuff. This one, though, this one. Whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. Okay, let's reel this in. It's sparkly! Okay, I caught it. Uh, it's a golden chest! Wow, with three tokens, three gold cards. That's always good. And then more fish tokens than I know what to do with. So we're just saving them. We're spending all those instead, those gold cards. Okay, let's go for another. Reel it in. And this time, give me something good. Whoa, it's a little squid. And this one I've certainly caught before. I don't think we get many tokens for ones we've caught previously. That might be how it works, might not be. Come on now. We're gonna put this one in. And it's, whoa, it's another Sonic level thing. It's the star post. It's so weird how many just little bits of debris from the levels are inside the uh, the thing. Okay, let's back up for a second. Would you like to try? I, I, I didn't really, no, I didn't, sorry. Like I just wasted try? a coin. Um, Go to the Fishipedia. Do these things show up in the Fishopedia? Because I want to make any sense, would it? No, they're here. It's a Red Spring, Star Pose, Chopper, Ring. They're all in here. So that's Would neat to like know. To try? Okay, let's go fish again. Just like this. We're still finding new things. So it's absolutely worth just sort of continuing. Reel this one in. And this will be a can, but not a red can, just a normal tin can. Six tokens for that one. Look, we get more of a reward for catching the trash than we do the fish. I guess it is more valuable in terms of, you know, the fish's environment. If there's too much trash, there can't be very many fish. But if there's no trash, there can be lots of fish. Oh, come on, it's gonna be another big gold chest filled with golden tickets. It might just be a normal chest filled with one gold ticket. That's fine. Okay, we're casting for another now. And let's see what we get this time. Railing this one in. I'll hook the fish like that. And this time we get a tire. Now we've definitely got a tire before. 
But hey, six tokens. We haven't gotten a tire at this location though. That's where I'm like, will there be sort of, will every fish spawn once or whatever fish spawn in this area, will it all spawn once and then sort of reset or something? That's the kind of thing you can really only figure out by playing. So, whoa, we get ourselves a koi fish, right? A Nishiki koi. That's awesome. Okay, reeling this one over there. And what do we get this time? Ooh, reeling it in. Huge surprise, it will be... Wow, what is that? A silver acorn. I'm a little confused by that one. Is an acorn like a common item in Sonic games? The other things I understood, like there, oh yeah, the Sonic reference is the acorn though. A little lost on that one. Anyways, let's see what we get this time. Whoa, that thing looks scary. It's a barracuda. I don't know, Sonic, I'd keep that one away from me. If I were you. But that's all right. Let's go for another one. What do we get this time? Something fancy for sure, right? Whoa, it's an angler fish. These things are just as scary. You're finding all sorts of sea life and, and river freshwater life in there. What a very little pond. I'm sure Big is very impressed. Okay, so let's get another one. Oh, it's a little seahorse, that's so cute. Look the seahorse. That's one more token for us. I wonder what Big wants to do with all these fish. Maybe start a little fish museum? All right, come on. What do we get this time? I'm reeling that one in. Big circle with this. Whoa! That's a moray eel. This really does start to feel like Animal Crossing in some ways. Obviously, there's similar fish types between the two because they're all real life fish, but on top of that, it's just. It is sort of having that nice loop of like, nice, I caught a fish. And just that satisfying feeling when you when you catch something new is always really cool. Okay, what is this one then? Ooh, it's a little egg man level post. A gold plate. Angler's club, trophy urn. So what would the, what is that one then? So that trophy was landing all the catches in one fishing spot. So obviously I don't think that our like to try? Fishopedia is completed. I think there's still more fish to find but that is all the fish in that area. So that's really cool. So I guess we're good to leave this one. Since we have a couple of golden tickets, I don't know if these carry over to the next area. So let's go ahead and get these now. I'll use them all for egg memos, I think for now, because we need more egg memos. So let's get all of these. And I could buy more too. I guess we'll do that. We'll focus on the egg memos for now. Once we run out of those, we'll buy the seeds that we might need. But. That is all of the, the tokens I have for now. So we're gonna head out of that one like to try? and return to the island. So we got the fast travel to Elder Elder Kerm, or Elder Coco and the Hermit Coco unlocked. But as you can see, we got 32 caster. Our catch completion is complete. That's awesome. So we don't need to do anything here left in Kronos Island for fishing. We can head to the next island. So now we're at the fishing spot for Ares Island. We did a little bit of fishing here, but not a ton. Catch completion is at 18%. So we still have a lot more to work through here. The only thing is that the only thing that told me that we finished catching everything in that previous area was that trophy. I don't think we're gonna get that trophy again. So I won't really know whether we've gotten everything before I just have to hop out, check, and then go back in. Now we need two coins though for every time we fish. So it costs more, but we get more out of it, I think, is how it works. It's like a little bit more of a risk and reward depending on how good you are at the fishing. Okay, we got plenty more things to catch here, so let's just make the most out of it. And ooh. Getting something big right away. I think we already have the two hermit scrolls this time, so it looks like we are getting ourselves a golden chest with three more golden cards. That's great, that's actually a really good start. Let's go for another. Because we started with like, what? 944 tokens. So the fact that we're not even under 900 here shows that we have a lot more fishing to get. Uh, we caught a salmon. With the salmon, we get six tokens. Yeah, we definitely are getting greater rewards for these. So that's pretty cool. And we'll just keep swinging our, our rod out there and just catch as many fish as we can. If you don't like the fishing too much for this game, I, I definitely don't suggest watching any more of this episode because that's all we're doing in this one. We've really done basically everything else. We get another one of these gold posts though. So like, I already have this, I don't need this one. So I don't know if duplicates really do anything for us besides, you know, we just earn more points. So 
just gonna keep going. What do we get this time? Ooh, come on. Good catch. Coming in right here. You got it, Sonic. Whoa, is that new? The King Salmon. That's nice to see. 12 tokens for that one. Okay, here comes another. Let's hope it's another new fish. But same thing as before, after we're done catching all the fish, we will spend all of our, oh, here's a double again, so this might be another chest. We'll spend all of our, our tickets and all of our tokens. I like how the, the fishing spot's a little bit different with this now, we're on a dock, before we were just sort of on the coastline, I think, so. Yeah, really cool that it's a different fishing spot every time, they don't just like reuse the same one. So all those little spots in the game that like just feel nice in that way. Whoa, what is this? This is a huge tuna. I think it's way bigger than Sonic. And a lot of tokens for it too. Okay, I'm gonna toss this one way over there. And somebody got it. It's another shiny one. Is this gonna be another chest? We're getting a lot of chests. No, it's a scroll. I thought we already got it. The Elder Coco scroll. I thought we got this one already. I guess not. Well, 16 tokens for it either way, so I'll happily take it, but a bit odd. Okay, going over the side. I mean, it'll activate quick travel. And that's always important. So now I get an octopus. Wow. Six more tokens. So we're quickly approaching 100 tokens, no problem. And now, and now we're down to 900 coins. If we just wait around, we can also just, you know, get another like Starfall event kind of deal. But I don't think we'll need it. I think we'll be able to catch every fish with the 900 coins that we have. It's another uh, poison dart frog. Whoa, look at this little guy. We get a Vidaka. I like that one for sure. Not too many tokens for it. But I don't think it's one we had, so I'm happy to get it either way. Yeah, as we're fishing around trying to find new collections for our Fishopedia, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on this little fishing mini game? Have you played it too much? Do you plan on completing your Fishopedia? I'm not liking too much that we're getting a lot of repeats, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta grind out some of them, I suppose, but we're getting there. But yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. I think it's always cool when games have little side content like this, as long as it's not too much. I think the Kirby games always do a good job with that. They always have fun mini games that just sort of sit outside the game. You don't really need to do them for any kind of completion or anything. They're just there for fun. We'll get a sunfish, which I'm pretty sure we've gotten in the past, but either way, it is massive. Okay, so I'm back to this fast travel to Elder Coco unlocked here. So I guess I had it for the other Coco. I just wanted to check to see we went from 12% to 62. So I'm definitely getting there, but there's still a little bit more left to find. Whoa, okay, we got a little isopod, a giant isopod. <laughs> Not a little one. I don't know if we've caught that before, so maybe that's something new. But yeah, definitely, it seems like there's a lot of repeats. I mean, regardless, we're getting tokens and tickets for it or cards. So that's fine, but what do we get this time? Hopefully something good. Oh, I pressed it too soon. That's the first time I messed up in a good while. That's a little unfortunate. That could have been a new fish, you know? So guess we'll have to wait and see. But we'll try getting this one. Oh, wow, that's another flying fish. So, yep, still lots of repeats. Oh, here we go, a crab. What a creepy crab, but we got it. So maybe we're now on the verge of catching a couple of new things, because that was definitely a new one. But it is fun that, you know, we've been able to play through this and get it so well completed. There is still a few more things to do after this, if you're curious. We still have like DLC to cover, and I think there might be a couple of extra things I definitely wanted to check out in a bonus episode. Um, but beyond that, a lot of you have been asking, do I plan on playing any other Sonic games? Now, I played Sonic Origins earlier this year. We played through Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and Sonic CD, all as, you know, a bunch of times with all the different, you know, situations going on with that, with the, like, different characters and stuff. But, um, there's still more to do, and I definitely plan on doing that. I think there's still some of the Sonic games I haven't, like, replayed with some of the other characters. But, um... Yeah, there's some bonus episodes I want to do with that as well. So there's still more Sonic Origin stuff I had planned. I just didn't want to juggle two Sonic games at once. I felt like that might have been a little bit too much. So I wanted to get through Sonic Frontiers now that it's out. But once we're done with Sonic Frontiers, I could definitely get back to some of that. And in the future, I wouldn't mind trying out some of the older Sonic games. I know that way back when Sonic Generations launched, I played that on my own time and it was really cool. So I wouldn't mind doing a series on maybe like a game like Sonic Generations one day. 
I don't know exactly when that would be, that's how I guarantee it's gonna happen tomorrow or something, but hopefully at some point in the future we can return to some older Sonic games that would be, you know, relatively old, like Sonic Generations, or even older, like Sonic Adventure or something like that. That'd be cool. But there's plenty of great Sonic games out there, and I'd always love, as per usual, to hear your feedback on what you might want to see next. But for right now, we're just fishing. <laughs> the most exciting, you know, staple Sonic gameplay, fishing. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. That is beautiful, the golden cola can. Does it actually look like that in real life? There's no way, that is so pretty. Wow, what a fish to get. Let's try for another. What do we get this time? Reel it in. Hopefully it's something good. It's a little tiny itty bitty goldfish. Whoa, we got an ore fish. I can't quite remember if we've caught this one, but it's always a fun one to see, right? So there we go, an ore fish. We're getting there. We got quite a lot of tokens, almost 200 of them at this point. So collecting a lot more here than we were at the previous spot. I'm just sort of waiting for new things. We're catching a good chunk of fish, just none of them are really something we haven't seen. Look at a little clownfish though. That's cute. Doesn't give too many tokens. I'm pretty sure the tokens are tied to their size, basically. We'll go for one more here before I go back out and check to see if I've gotten them all for this area or not. But this one is... Hopefully something fancy. Nope, it is, once again, a cold can, which, which I think we've caught before. I mean, it's, it's a great fish, I'm sure. Just nothing too crazy new for us. Okay, so it does say that I'm complete. I guess we got everything. Yeah, it doesn't give you any kind of notification that you're complete. I feel like that's something that would be really nice for the whole point of it being to collect things, you know? So we got more stuff in our Fishopedia. We'll take a look at that later. Um, for right now, we'll spend whatever tokens we have here. So extra egg memos. And then just buying more of them like this. And there we go, we've bought them all. So we have every single egg memo that there is. So when it comes to all the other stuff, I think I mostly want to put it into Cocos so that we can upgrade that a bit more. I mean, this is just sort of the stuff we need to focus on. So that's gonna take a lot. That's all I can buy from here. Okay, gotcha. Um, but we can buy some of the the red seeds of power. Just as many as the game is gonna let me get. Um, and why I need so many of these is because we need to level our characters up the maximum, or our character, Sonic. We need to level him up the maximum to be like able to, to um, get all the specific trophies, I'm pretty sure. So working on this stuff is pretty important. We'll, we'll go over to the uh, the Coco Elders later on, but for right now we're good with this area, which means we can move on to the next one, which should be, of course, um, Chaos Island. So we're at the Chaos Island fishing spot where we have 0% of anything caught here. So this one's gonna take a bit more work, I'm sure, but we'll get through it for sure. Well, look at this one. So we're on the rocks and stuff. Welcome back. I'm glad to be back, big. When is Big gonna get his own Would full game? Like try? So this one costs like four coins right. per fish. That's okay. You know, because we'll, we'll make it back if we need it. But I think that once again, we have 800 coins. It's still plenty of times to give a go at fishing. So we'll roll one in right here. And what do we got for our first, first fish here of the Chaos Island fishing area? It's a repeat, but it's a crab. But remember, we're getting more tokens per catch around here than we would um, in the previous areas. It costs more, but you get more. So this will be a nice way to just collect some more stuff. With that being said, you know, we got all the um, Eggman memos, which we'll listen to later in today's episode. Whoa, we got another angler. But in the meantime, I guess I can buy more seeds with that kind of stuff and more cocoa too. So we can really get to some major level ups. But for this area, obviously, since we haven't fished here at all, we'll also be looking for the the scrolls and things like that. So that'll be pretty big. Right now, ooh, speaking of which, we might've just gotten one. This also might just be a, a chest. Yeah, with some cards in it. So a gold card, just one, nothing too crazy. What do we got next? This might be aesthetically my favorite one yet with the rocks and stuff. A little sort of mountainside river of some sort. Ooh, what is that? That is a salmon. Never mind. I thought it was something new. Not really. Whoa! Look at this one! The snapping turtle! Yeah, you don't want to hold that. That is so cool! Alright, I love that. So there are some rare fish that actually have two circles instead of one. You don't see that too often. It's usually just the chest of the two circles. So that was awesome. I was not expecting that one at all. What do we get this time now? 
Maybe something else that'll blow us away? It's a puffer fish. Oh, it's, it's puffing, all right. Careful, Sonic. I don't know how, how strong your gloves are, but... We'll reel out another one. So now we're starting to get some new stuff. Another double ring. This has got to be get something good, right? Whoa, what is that? An ancient tablet. Is this some kind of stone that you can use like to decipher language or something? Or it might just be, you know, some kind of recording. That's crazy. I want more information about that one. Okay, so let's try this out then. They're gonna bob their way through this a little bit and we got, boom, another fish. It's a stick. It's a twig, not even a stick. All right, well, 24 twig, that's a big payoff for a, a, a twig. All right, I'll take it though. I'm not gonna complain, it's just baffling. Okay, come on. Let's see what we can get. That might be a little bit more exciting than a twig. It seems like something super fancy. So the farther we go, the fancier fish we get, huh? We get a chest this time, okay. We already got one of these chests before. Getting another is not too bad of a deal though. Ooh, it's another double circle. What do we get this time? It's a scroll. So this is one of the uh, the Elder Coco scrolls. So we're still looking for the Hermit Coco scrolls at some point, but I'm glad to get one out of the two. Those you definitely only catch once, once per area. So I'm glad we're halfway through that. Coming back up to 200 coins again too. So we'll make the most of all that soon enough. Right now that we're reeling this in. And we get not a stingray, but a flounder. Looks like a stingray for just a moment. We may have caught this one already. I might be getting it mixed up. You're just <laughs> looking at my memory. Have we caught this or am I just remember capturing it in Animal Crossing a few years ago? You know what I mean? It's, it's so very similar. There we go. And ooh, yeah. We're getting repeats now of the ore fish again, but still such a pretty one. Okay, this time we got the normal acorn. We've gotten the, the silver acorn before. Here's the normal acorn. So is there a bronze and gold acorn as well? I guess we'll see, but it makes a lot more sense to find an acorn one fishing, right? Because either the trees are right there by the water, one falls off the tree, or the metal one's coming in from. I don't know, but I do get this. This will be another scroll. This one is the Hermit Coco scroll. So we've got the Elder and the Hermit all figured out. That'll be some nice fast travel action for us if we need it. Um, eventually we will, but not now. Okay, fishing again. With this one, just gotta wait for a fish to bite. And is it anything new? Hey, it's a little starfish. That is definitely new. It's sort of wiggling around. You can see it. Okay, here comes another. I'll definitely have to check soon to see how much we've gotten through, because we were at zero percent before, so we've been making nothing but progress, but now we're starting to see some fish we've already seen. Are the older fish that we've caught at previous areas, do they go to the completion right here? Like, I don't really know how that works. Um, I'm just sort of winging it to find out. So we'll catch one more and I'll back out and we'll double check for ourselves. Okay, come on. It's a double, so it's gonna be something cool. Probably a treasure chest. No, it's a crocodile? An alligator. Uh, you know, they're different, but I just, at a glance. But an alligator, that is crazy. So there is still plenty of these thing, things here. So maybe I'll just keep fishing. That is a huge one to get. We're getting reptiles now, not just fish. So the Fishopedia seems to have a lot more than just fish. It's got reptiles, it's got trash, it's got pieces of nature like twigs and acorns. It's got sunken, like ancient materials like the slab. And it's got artifacts from Sonic stuff. It's, it's a very bizarre place. Let's go for one more now. Come on, come on. What do we get this time? Boom. Whoa, that's a koi fish again. So a Nishiki koi, just like before, I think now's a good time with over 300 coins to um, check out the shop a little bit and then we'll go check out the uh, Would you like to try? the percentage. So trader tokens, Tails memory token, which we don't need, but uh, I don't know why, it, it looked new to me for a second. But I guess we, you know, we get some lost cocoa over here. I wanna focus on the cocoa first. There we go. And I'm immediately sold out of those, but I can get some red seeds of power. We'll have a really high power level. I'll have to get my defense up after this, but 
There's as many as a lesbian buy of these, right? I mean, maybe there's no limit and I should just worry about these for a bit. I'll do that. I'll do that until I'm at like the same amount that I was for there. It's so loud, the noise for this. Sort of clashes with how relaxing this area is. There we go. We're about even for that. So let's go return to the island and see what my percentage is at. So we're back here. And we got the you know, the Elder and Hermit Coco fast travels unlocked. We're at 65%, so there's still plenty more to do. Okay, we're trying for another. We get an immediate catch of some. Ooh, come on. And it's a golden chest again. So I'll definitely be making the most of those. Three gold cards. Back at it. Let's see, if do we get a quick catch here? Looks like we might have to wait a little bit. But it's another double ring. Will this be another chest? Whoa! It's an item box. You have the little monitor with the ring on it? I haven't even seen that in any of the levels. Well, no, I have. Have I? I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. Usually the rings are just out and about, right? I don't know. I really don't know. The, move, the levels move by too fast, so maybe I'm just imagining it. Anyways, what do we get this time? It's a yellow spring. We've gotten a red spring before, so this is technically a new addition the Fishopedia. And it's a good one. So, we'll put this right here. And we get something else just about immediately. This time, whoa, a hammerhead shark. That thing is huge. Quite a big fish for such a little pond, isn't it? Okay, toss another one in. See, this is where the rest of that 65% was waiting, or the, the second, you know, portion. We got the 65%, now we have the, you know, 35% remaining. This time, oh, I skipped it. We got octopus. Already got an octopus, pretty cool to see that. Oh, we're getting more tokens for it, so I'll definitely be spending those soon. Right now, let's just toss this in. And with this one, what do we got? Got it. I'm ready for you. Give me something new. It's another hammerhead. This is a polka dot hammerhead shark. Okay, I don't know if that's real or not, or if that's just like a special thing for the game. I've never heard of that. That is so interesting. It looks cool though. Well, what could we possibly find off the back of that that would even come close to matching it? I guess we'll see. Another starfish, but it's a different kind. It's a black starfish. Nice. So it looks like there are some different colorations of some of the previous fish we've already caught. Good to keep in mind. I mean, as long as we're reaching 100% with everything, I hardly mind. Oh, this'll be a double. I haven't seen anything with three rings so far, but it's just another treasure chest for now. Whoa, look at this thing. It's a flashy angler fish. It has this nice purple color with the green fins and some starfish stuck to it. <laughs> Very flashy, but still somehow horrifying, so. Just gotta keep that character trait to it, I guess. Get anything good this time, though. Let's find out. Whoa, what is this little guy? A loach. Maybe we found a loach before. If so, it was very early on. So I'm fairly certain we caught everything this time. I guess we'll see soon enough. Right now, if a little, let me buy more seeds. I might as well take that opportunity. I'll get up to 150 or maybe 160 with each one. I need a lot more defense seeds for that, but I just want to get both to max level. So just making sure they're both capped out would be really good. Come on, a couple more. That looks like I can buy a few more there and a few more here. There you go. That's all I can afford. That was perfect. We'll head out of here. See you big. The next spot. And that means I think we only have one more to go because Raya Island didn't have anything to fish at, I don't think. We'll double check just to be sure. But is this at 100%? It is! Awesome! So we're done with that one. I will very quickly go to Raya Island and see if there's any fishing spots there. But if not, we'll go to Oranos. So we are at Oranos Island instead. Of course, there's nothing at Raya Island. So we'll be doing the same thing here. Let me gra grab a couple of cocoa, though, because I could always use some more. Despite what the fishing spot tells me. So there we go. Let's try the southern fishing spot of Ornos Island. We're already 25% through it, so we still have more to find. Hey, Sonic. Hi, Big. Welcome back. Glad to be here. So this area is looking just Would as nice like and relaxing. 
we'll just go fishing. It's obviously a lot more expensive here. It costs eight coins, but with over 700 still left, I think we're fine. That's still going to be um just under 100 attempts. So that should be all the fish we need. I would imagine, unless there's a ton of fish to get here. I miss a bunch of them. There's a hammerhead shark that we've already found, but look at how many coins this is gonna give us. 48 tokens right there just for one fish. So this is where it jumps up quite a lot. So as long as we can just consistently fish, find some good stuff, I'll be happy. So let's keep going for it. Right now we'll focus on this one. And boom. What do we get this time? It is going to be, whoa, a Gurami. I love the colors on that one, very pretty. So we're finding all sorts of nice stuff now. Gotta make us tons of tokens too. What about for this third catch? It's a double ring. Might just be more tokens or cards for us. It might be a yellow spring we've already, already caught before, but these give a lot of tokens, another 48 of them. Whoa, look at this thing. Rainbow colored frog, a big rainbow colored frog. Big's gonna love that. All right then, so there we go. Big rainbow froggy. Let's go for another one. Cool that there's still stuff like that waiting around in here. I haven't found too many new things so far, but that was definitely one that takes the cake. So I want more cool colorations. Will we get one here or we'll be just back to normal? It will be another crayfish. Whoa, 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 three rings. Here we go. It's gonna be a golden chest, but still, I think that's the first time we've seen three rings. Pretty intense, three gold cards for us. I was barely ready for it, but we were still able to time it quite well. So that's awesome. Whoa, what is this thing? A carp. I feel like we haven't caught this. I don't know, maybe we have, but the colors look so distinct that I can't quite remember. We've gotten a lot of coins from this so far. We still have 650 left though of the tokens, of the, the purple coins actually. And all the names of it mixed up, but you know what I mean. We're spending coins and earning tokens. We get a starfish for this one, but. Now might be a good time. I might catch a couple more fish and then check back outside to see what our percentage is sitting at. So we're at like, what, 25% before? Definitely a lot more work to find them now. Oh, but we got something huge here, another three ring. And it'll be another chest. Ooh, come on, let it be something good. It is our scroll for this area, the Coco Scroll. I don't think I found the other one just yet, so that's pretty big and it gives us 64 tokens. Huge catch there for sure. Look at how much that's giving me. Wow. And here is our second scroll, the Elder, Sc Elder Coco Scroll. So there we go, we got the two scrolls out of the way. I think now then is a great time, after all these tokens tally up, to go check to see if I'm at 100% or not. Because you know what, we can also sort of get those fast travels available, which I'll want to use those once we're done with all this. So return to the island and see for ourselves. So first it's gonna tell me all about how we got the fast travel unlocked for those right here. Fast travel to the Elder and Hermit Coco are unlocked. Nice. Um, but I'm at 75%, there's still more to find. Okay, so I just checked, we're at 100% complete for this area, but all I've ca ca caught since last checking have been repeat fish. So it shows that repeat fish do matter for each area. But either way, that should mean that, as far as I can tell, we have a complete Fishopedia. We got Gourami, Loach, Daka, Crayfish, all this kind of stuff is all nice and completed. So it's been a lot of time to put into this to you know get it all, but it's really nice that it's here. So yeah, that was a fun little mini game, just to be able to catch all the fish. I don't think I'm gonna read all the descriptions because that'd be a lot of it, but you know you can pause the, the video if you wanna read any of these, or if you guys really, really wanna see me read through them, you can let me know. But for right now, here is everything, so. I'm pretty sure we got everything. If I didn't, be sure to let me know. But as far as I can tell, I mean, we got it. It says complete for each fishing area. I'd, I'd really imagine that means we're complete for each fishing area. So uh, I really like, I think the big rainbow colored frog is my favorite. <laughs> and uh, we got all these, you know, scrolls and stuff. So I guess we'll listen to the voice logs as the last thing in today's episode. For right now, I want to trade in some more tokens. Um, for right now, I guess just for the, the cocos. The cocos are the number one thing I want to get. So whenever it just stops me from buying any more of these. But then after this, you can see we have a ton of coins. We have over 1,000 cocoa right now too. Actually closing in on 2,000 at this rate. So this is really cool. I'll just buy out all the seeds with whatever you know tokens we have left and see what happens from there. So we still have 133 tokens left over, but I don't quite know. Like maybe this is enough 
uh, Coco for level 99. I really don't know, so I wanted to try really fast with this. We'll return to the island and cash in with these, but um, I think if it's gonna take too much more time, I'll of course keep grinding up fish between episodes for the bonus episode where we get everything, like, you know, whatever extra stuff we wanted to showcase, we could do that there. But for now, like, we'll, we'll go to the Elder right here, talk to you, and see how much I can get. So I can just keep increasing my speed repeatedly. It is going to take forever, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, I wish there was a faster way to do it than one at a time forever. So you know what? I think because I would just take so much time in today's episode, I don't want to do that right now. We will save that for between episodes. In the meantime, I'll go back. The one thing we'll do to finish off today's episode is just listen back to the rest of the um, Eggman little memos. So here we are again. Um, I'll listen to the first few again, even though I did listen to them in an earlier episode, just because, just in case you weren't there for those or you just don't quite remember them. We'll start with Eggman Memo 1 and go all the way down into the last one, which is, uh, okay. Uh, Eggman Memo, oh my gosh, 24, there's so many. So let's start with number one. This is keeping me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. What are gun military craft doing in here? Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it, and it doesn't appear to be manned. Is it an offense mechanism? I need to learn more. The terrain here keeps shifting. I'm finding recreations of regions from South Island, West Side Island, even Angel Island. Where is this environmental data coming from? And we learned through the game that it's actually coming from Eggman's own memories. I found elements from my own Eggnet, the United Federation, even planet Donpa Kingdom race data. As best as I can surmise, this cyberspace extends well beyond the scope of these islands and is gaining information from around the world. Fascinating. I am officially jealous. This entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who had previously settled on these islands. The level of technology they employ is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet. I love how excited Eggman gets over those kind of things. It appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. More than that, they logged their memories, their desires, it's almost like they encoded their very souls into this place. Now then, how can I use that to my benefit? And that makes me curious about the sort of the post game. Does Eggman try to take this island and learn from it and become even more powerful? Who were the ancients? They predate any civilization by a wide margin. The Echidnas? <laughs> the Black Arms? <laughs> Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these three piddly islands. Why? What stopped them from conquering the world? I'm finding multiple connections between the Ancients and the Chaos Emeralds. Their technology seems built with the Emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery, but not when the answers are more mysteries. Ugh. That's the whole fun of it. The Ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That same imagery is being used by the Coco running around the islands. Did the Coco inspire the Ancients? Or did the Coco adopt the leftovers once the Ancients were gone? Hmm. A little bit of both, honestly. Something wiped out the Ancients, that's for certain. A catastrophic event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands. It appears they made some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. I don't believe this. I had Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I have with me. They are relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Some kind of radiation affected them for eons, making them unrecognizable. Except to a genius like me. Whoa, that's some like huge lore implications. So Chaos, which was, I think, the main watery bad guy from Sonic Adventure. I think I'm not getting the names mixed up. That's so cool if that's the case, because I don't know, just that's why they look so similar. 
I'm deploying my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it Sage. Sage will take over the alien network, take control of all its resources, and give them to me. <laughs> Once I'm out of here. So yeah, that you know confirms as well that Sage is a creation of Dr. Eggman and artificial intelligence, but now he sees her more as a daughter. Sage is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients Network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. I love it! And that's interesting because it shows the different tones in this game compared to other Sonic games. Usually Eggman sort of, uh, the little robots he creates, they're just sort of doofy like Orbot and Cubot. But here we have Sage, who's not only super serious, but an integral emotional part of the story. Despite her best efforts, Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Phooey. She can prompt them to act, but something is blocking her from assuming total control. Sage keeps running the numbers by me and it's getting tedious. Yes, the power that wiped out the Ancients was formidable. Yes, unleashing it on this world would be catastrophic. But I'm a genius! Once I'm out of here, I'll find a way to handle it. Better yet, weaponize it against Sonic. It is funny that as irrational as Eggman is, he made an artificial intelligence that's so cold and calculated, it sort of keeps him rooted. But I guess not in this situation. Sage has been crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities, guiding me past firewalls, keeping me updated on progress in the real world. She, she's the best. She, it, it, it's a program. An adorable program, a very personable program, a, a uh, I wonder if she has a preference. I suppose so. I never really knew my cousin Maria. Everyone spoke of her like she was very special. All that love for someone who was gone when I was right there. But I have to wonder, back then, was she anything like Sage is now? Oh, it's so sad. I mean, maybe. Sage told the funniest joke during her report. How fast can Sonic screw things up? Instantly, he's the fastest thing alive. I tell you, she's a chip off the old block. Well, for a program, I mean, it's not like she's alive. Or family, or... Hmm. Okay, this is honestly so cute. Who says I can't create life, huh? Just a bunch of proteins bumping together, anyone can do that. A true genius does it with code and electrons. And if I did create life, she would be brilliant and loyal and perfectly effective. And you know why? Because her dad is a genius, that's why. Sonic's on the island. Of course Sonic is on the island. I can't remember the last time I had a good night's scheme without him ruining it. Still, for a purely organic creature, Obtaining Mach 1 of his own volition is impressive. I'm man enough to admit that. It's Sonic who named me Eggman. Except the joke's on him. I embraced the name. I made it my own. His mockery is now a name feared across the ages. I'm not going to adopt Baldy McNose here, though. My uh, dignity has limits. That's funny. <laughs> I love how much this is giving insight, not just to the story of this game, but to all of the games and sort of keeps in mind all the different sort of key points of like the Sonic history. It appears Amy Rose has been dragged into the mix. Clever girl, tenacious. She's come a long way since being an easy pawn in my schemes to ensnare Sonic. It seems like she had some trouble finding herself. But when you hang around with someone with as big an ego as Sonic, self-identification has to be a challenge. Knuckles is here too. What a rube. That hair trigger of his is a problem, but also a boon when I can get him to go off in the right direction. Wait, if he's here, that means the Master Emerald is unguarded. Its power will be mine. Oh, no, wait. I'm stuck here. Phooey. Sonic's here, so it's no surprise Tails is too. It's a pity. Young Prower has a keen mind and loads of potential. Yet he's fixated on worshipping Sonic. And again, maybe that's for the best. Given all the trouble he gave me in Station Square and on the Ark, I think I'd prefer him wasting his potential lingering in Sonic's shadow.
Well, I might change soon. Seems like Tails was pretty determined to go out and make some sort of a name for himself. But that was the last one, right? It was. Okay, so that was so cool. Just learning more about Eggman and just all of his insights. I didn't know if they were gonna be like super surface level, but they were so interesting. So I love that a lot. I'm really glad that we got those. So for right now, we're gonna return to the island. Um, while I can't cash in all my normal cocoa right now, I could cash in the seeds. Um, and those will be instantaneous. I don't know why it's like that, but for the other one, it's not, you know, it's, it's sort of weird, but uh, over here, the elder cocoa here, right? Is that what I need? Because I, I tried this one. No, 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 I need this one. This is who I'm trying to find, the hermit. Okay, so we'll go to the hermit here, and this should be pretty easy to cash in then. Let's see how much power the re Okay, Herculean Hedgehog. Did we get enough for maximum level? 99 for power, 97 for defense. So I can just go back over there and do that for the rest of it. But that was amazing. So really happy to have that. We're at max level for power. We caught all the fish as far as I can tell. Completed the Fishipedia and listened through all the Eggman memos. Fantastic. So there's still a little bit more to do, but a lot of that will be saved for the bonus episode. For right now though, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Sonic Frontiers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.